Justice Democrats are making waves in Washington, D.C. And the establishment is now Way on out notice. Of touch with the needs of the middle class and working families of our country, that you see your major function in your position as the need to represent the wealthy and large corporations. And I must tell you that your testimony today only cons confirms all of my suspicions. And I urge you, and I mean this seriously, because you're an honest person. I, th I think you just don't know what's going on in the real world. And I would urge you, come with me to Vermont, meet real people. The country clubs and the cocktail parties are not real America. Some folks uh, made the uh, argument uh, that uh, if Trump wins, we will at least be galvanized and united in fighting against them. Well, it appears Trump has won. And I'll tell you why, because um, uh, I'm, it allowed at least for a clean break. I'm not at all interested in talking about the Democratic Party in the way that I was. We're done with that, right? And when I say me, like they can say, oh, yeah, Jack, what happened? Oh, oh, you're done with us. So, uh, okay, all right, well, let's see what happens. Uh, my guess is that our populist wing comes and kicks your ass left and right and all over the street, and we're going to take over that party, okay? So you're going to lose, and we're going to win, and we're done with it. So a stronger Democratic Party uh, is monumentally important, and maybe, maybe this got us there. The nomination of our friend and hero. You, my, answer, you, my answer is a lot shorter. No, I do not support fracking. Senator Sanders, though, to Secretary Clinton's point, there are a number of Democratic governors in many states who say that fracking can be done safely and that it's helping their economies. Are they wrong? Yes. The American elections are designed to suppress the vote. They're not designed to uh, get people fired up. They don't want people interested. We live in an oligarchy. None of this matters anyway. Your democracy has already been stolen from you. 90% of the people in America want some kind of gun regulation. We don't get it. 80% of people want a public option. We ain't never getting it. So uh, legislation does not correlate to the citizenry anymore. We already live in an oligarchy. Capitalism is failing worldwide. Not one question about Brexit. Not one question about what to do when the banks fail here. Not one question, nothing. So it's again, it's the establishment with their head firmly in the sand, right? And uh, just there, there needs to be a revolution in America because our and all of our institutions are completely corrupt, especially the news media, right? So we've got six companies running all the things that we hear and see, and this was a perfect example of how they're part of the problem. Again, Trump not the problem; he's a symptom of the problem. This is all part of the problem. This is why half the country doesn't vote. Hillary Clinton still not trying to go get those people to vote. What she's trying to do is trying to get more right wingers to vote for her still not trying to talk to the people who have tuned out of this election because they know there's no way to vote against more war there's no way to vote against goldman sachs there's no way to vote against more fracking or the oil industry there's no way to vote against the both parties are co-opted co by the same people and we need a party for the american people all you guys said Bitch, step aside. I'm in. Let yeah. us take the race. Yeah, that's exactly what we're trying to do. JusticeDemocrats.com. What? Oh. <laughs> now, you see, this little bird doesn't know it. Oh, my.